Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quote Company, and we're the Doan Girls. This is Natalie and Misty. Hey guys. And we love you so much yes, we do. <laughs> that we are filming some bonus content for you this month. It's Christmas in July, uh -huh. and we thought we'd ha show you three easy projects that you can do because we know you love to make Christmas gifts. So we have these three cool wallets. We're all three going to be helping each other, so you'll see all of us on each one. So join us as we show you how to make these cool three wallets. Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I'm here with Natalie and I'm here with Misty and this is your bonus content because you know what? It's Christmas in July and we know you're going to want to make some cool small gifts and we're going to start with me and I have the Corky Wallet. So cute. It's really cute. So I've actually made this three times to practice because while you know making wallets isn't my thing well i'm excited that we each get one of those yeah you i was gonna say one is one of those for me and they're so cute they have this little flap out here that's and adorable it just sticks under and it has a little inside pocket that is really so cute. Really it's really cute. cute have you guys ever sewn with um cork i have you have yes not me i'm new i never it's made so a cork quilt beautifully oh my gosh it's like butter yeah it is so like butter all right, so I have some of my pieces cut out already. And this one is, it's really important if you just follow the um, pattern. Yep. I actually, I quilt by picture. And when I need a pattern, I say, Natalie, can you read <laughs> can this you and translate? show me how to do this? And so um, basically, I'm going to walk you through this pattern because I've already been walked through it a few times. And... Um, and actually, Courtney came over and walked me through this. She's so good. She's, she's so good. She's and, great. And the, and the thing is, it's so easy when somebody shows you how. And that's the benefit of these videos. So we're going to start. You're going to need a piece of cork that is 5 by 24. And so that's this right here. I actually think you could probably make a lot of wallets with this. Well, because it comes on a roll. And so then you, you're yeah. just cutting a strip, right? Yeah. So you're going to cut, the cutting instructions are first, and there's lots of little pieces, so you're just going to want to do that first. So we're going to start with... So you already have all your little pieces cut out? I do, and I have it partially done. Oh, okay. So you cut two, two, five by eight and a half, wait, I don't have my glasses on, what does that say? <laughs> two, five by eight and a quarter Eight and a quarter rectangles. inch rectangles. So two, five by eight and a quarter inch rectangles, and that's these right here. Okay. Then we're going to use our clips. So you, you guys know so this. Do you is, like glue them together? Or? No, no, just wait. Just okay, wait. Okay. This is way out of my ballpark for me. I'm using clips. You can't actually pin cork. Well, you could, but you, you could. Make Italy cold. Yeah. yeah. Would, um, so we're clipping these two together. And then the, then the next pieces we cut out, Natalie, tell me the sizes three of the next pieces. Three and three quarter inch by two and a half inch. Rectangle. Okay. That's your little pocket. So the inside pocket. So that is this right here. So cute. So I have already so cut that out. eyeball that? Is there a... Oh, yes, it tells you, yes. Okay. And so, so then so we have this piece here, here, which is, what size is this one? Um, three and a quarter by five inches. Three and a quarter by five. Pocket. And then this is... Five inches by one and a, by one half by one half inch. Okay. All right. So this actually is going to go on here, but we're going to do it as the pattern tells us to do it. So the very first thing we're going to do is clip our two pieces that are five by eight and a quarter together, and we have this little inside pocket that is our three and a three three and, three and three quarter by two and a half. Yeah. And so it has you place it has you measure up two and a half inches right here. You're going to measure up two and a half here. And you're going to place this pocket on here, and I eyeballed mine in between, uh -huh. and then you just top stitch over it, which causes through these, all three pieces through all three pieces. So that causes hmm. these two pieces to stay together, and then you can take your clips off, and um, and then you're going to do your outside pocket. So you're, we're going to actually put this little tiny piece right here, and and honestly, um, the way we made it was where we just used the one piece of cork. Mm -hmm. But I think this is an accent piece. So I would it would be so oh, I would normally do different. I would probably do the pockets and this piece in a different color. Yeah, that makes sense. It would but, be fun to have three different But then you have to buy more cork. But you know what? But you might need a stash. <laughs> I yeah. just don't think this is gonna be a problem. I loved doing this. This was really, really fun. So I'm gonna put two little clips in here, Natalie, and you're gonna top stitch this. Oh boy. Or unless you want me to do it, I can do it. I don't mind yeah, top on stitching. Which side? both edges okay and so you'll have to take those off as you oh, wait it's not quite hang on this actually matches up exactly so maybe we won't use these 
and you'll just lay this on here. The other thing you can do um, is you could probably run a little bit of a glue stick on there to make it hold down. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually super excited for you to sew this because you have not I sewn through cork. Never sewn through cork. It's no. so so beautifully. And it's all of our wallets awesome. are different. Yeah. So Natalie's is just a fabric, nice fabric. little fabric with a uh, several pockets and a snap. Mm -hmm. And yours is a long wallet out of faux leather. Exactly. Yeah. And this is decorative, but it also gives a little more strength to the top of that pocket. All right, we're gonna look on here and see what we do next. Okay, we're gonna. Ah, uh, let's there see. There you go, that was really easy. Easier than you thought, wasn't a lot it? easier than I thought. <laughs> okay, so we're down here. So now that you have this sewn, I'm just gonna trim these threads off and we are gonna go, uh, put, just set this aside for the moment because it's ready to go when we need it. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna measure two inches from the bottom here. I'm gonna make a little mark. My fabric is busy, so the mark isn't gonna show in, at all. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure across here. So this is five and we're gonna put a dot here in the center, just like this. And I, we're gonna do this on both sides, so I believe. So let me see. So on this side, we're gonna come down one and a half inches here. And then we're gonna put a dot right in the center as well. And it's five, so that dot's gonna come at two and a half. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our ruler Oh, and I'm going to need a rotary cutter, not a pen. <laughs> and we're going to put our ruler on the center dot and the side dot. And we're going to cut our peaks. And, of course, cork is just like, oh, 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 oh cut so beautifully. Yeah, it smells great. Let's see, where's that mark? Is that the mark right there? Yes, right okay. there. Should, okay. Probably should have worn my glasses There you today. go. That's all right. That's why we're here. That's why you're here <laughs> with your young eyes. All right, this one is one and a half and to the middle. And then one and a half to the middle. One and a half to the middle. All right. All right, so now what we're going to do is, um, oh, we're going to stitch this little opening. So on the side that is closest to the, to the bottom of the wallet, so this is, this is our pocket, so this is the bottom down here. We're just going to stitch right here and we're going to stitch one inch in here. So let's measure one inch. I know you guys have never seen me measure this much, have you? <laughs> it's new to me. It's new to you. I like it. Well, you know, when you do something like this, it, it has, to, and it's it's small, so it has to be pretty exact, you know? Yeah, and you want your, your work to come out looking professional. Well, the other thing I love about it is that it makes your brain work differently. Yeah. And yeah. so it, it like feels like you're doing something really big and creative and fun. Okay. All right, so Natalie, what I want you to do is I want you to top stitch right here along this peak. Just down. Just down the inch to the middle and over. Okay. All right. And then, Misty, hmm. help me with this pattern while she's doing that. Oh, then we do the outside pocket. Do you back stitch when you're top stitching? Um, not necessarily, but you could. It wouldn't hurt. Just a little. Mm -hmm. All right. So it looks like we're going to flip the wallet over, and and so on this, on this wallet, I used a triple stitch, which is just a stitch on a fancy machine. That's like it's like, you know, it goes really, hmm. really fast and back and forth. But I think the plain stitch, this machine just only sews straight, so I think the plain stitch is fine. Did you get it? I think so. All right, let's trim these threads. And trim these threads. All right, so we've now sewn this little peak right here. We're gonna flip it over. And then this part goes to the top. And then our inside pocket. Well, I think you actually, so your pocket goes up this way and then you line this up backwards like that. Is what it looks like because that's flipped oh, over. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're right. All right. So then we're going to flip this over. We're, uh, we're going we're gonna to clip this. Okay. All right. <laughs> we're going to clip this. All right. So this gets lined up just along this edge here. I'm going to clip this right here. I'm going to clip this right here. And we are going to turn this over. Make sure this is clipped down. And we're just going to top stitch this part. Let me make sure how much I got here. I'm gonna make it the same on both sides. Well, the triple stitch is what makes the stitching stitching look thick, huh? Yeah. 
Ah. That's interesting. Yeah. So now what you're going to do is you're going to stitch from here to here and here to here. Okay. Okay. So you're and just not stitching over where you, you don't stitched stitch over before. the center because that's your this. Your little that's flap. The, yeah, okay. That's the little flap. That makes sense. So you want to be able to line that up pretty good. Yep. And then back stitch a little bit. Is there a back stitch? Yeah, you push right? the. Just here. That really giant bar. Right there. Right there, okay. right there okay. on the side. All right. Okay. <laughs> I see. I see. Natalie, that's what she just needs a little more instruction from me. I do. So much more. And then take her little clip. And then back stitch right there. There we go. Okay. All right. So now that's down. And then what we're going to do then is we're going to fold this up. And so this pocket is now inside. Can you see that? So this pocket is inside. We're going to fold this up. And let's see if we... Do you need your clips again to clip it or... So what, yes. So what we're going to do now is we are going to sew down this side right here and we're going to back stitch. Uh -huh. And then we're going to come down here all the way down. And then, well, actually, what we want to do is start this side and go all the way up, back stitch, up here, across here, over here, down here, and then all the way down. Okay. And then this one should, when it, if it's folded right, it should just stick in this little flap right here, like this, if we do it right, and it will be done. That's Yeah, that's really all there is to it. That's it's so awesome. awesome. Isn't that fun? Yeah. yeah so cute. And so it's just a matter, really, of following those instructions. So start on this side. Okay. Let me, let me, I'll go ahead and squeeze these for you. So okay. keep them in their spot. We're just going to squeeze them. Perfect. So then start here on that edge. It feels like it might be a little thick. Oh, it's, going. it's a little thick, but it's so it sews through so nicely. There you go. Just back stitch over like the whole thing. Oh yeah. Oh, just over the no, just over that edge of that. Yep. Oh. And then come all the way up. <laughs> there we go. This one is so quick and easy. I love it. It's very quick and easy. Adorable. You know, um, for me, anytime I have to follow and read instructions, I don't know why. It's I mean, I, I'm a voracious reader, but it's a thing. Uh, and so I generally look at the pictures, and if I can figure it out, I'm good to go. Yeah. But you know, like this hair means you flip that over, and it's there. You know, and so. It just helps to have a little bit of info, but it's so quick. It really is. I love it. And then just stick that in there, and you can put your cards in there. You know, I wouldn't uh, put change because it this I don't know that this would hold it. Yeah. But I think that's pretty cool. But it's really, really cute. Oh, oh, it'd, it'd be, be perfect, perfect, perfect for business for cards. Business cards, yeah. I love that idea. And you'd be like, let me just give you one of my cards. Yes, and it's so cute. <laughs> Why, yes, I did make this. Why, yes, <laughs> since you asked, I did make this. All right, let's look at our work. We'll see. All ah. right, so this is the little end that's still open here. It has a thread across it. We picked such good matching thread that we don't even see the threads. Yep, clip, clipping all the threads. Yep, let me clip these right here. Not the bag, not the bag. There we go. All right, so then this right here, you know, and you just want to push it down a little bit because it, you can't iron it, but then you're going to stick it in here. And that is your closure right there. Adorable. That's so cute. I love it. And I have it. one for you. I and I have one for thank you. Thank you so thank much. And two you. more to share. <laughs> That's amazing. So anyway, so now, um, Natalie, are you up next? I think so. All right. All right. So join us for Natalie's wallet. So I'm really excited to teach this wallet. It's the little wallet, again, by Valerie Wells. And it's so cute. It has three little pockets and a snap. So we're going to learn how to put a snap on today, which is going to yes, be we are. fun. Yes, it's exciting. I love it. Um, you can use coordinating fabrics. I used uh, Spring Riviere by Kate Merritt for Cloud9 fabrics. They're really cute. You need a quarter yard of each. You could use fat quarters. I think you could probably make this with a couple 10 inch squares. Too. I think you could use a layer so, cake. Because totally. the pieces are pretty small. They're all within nine inches. Yeah. Awesome. So there's that. You'll also need some interfacing. 
Um, Some snaps. Not very much. Like yeah. a little tiny six by nine piece. So mm -hmm. if you have scraps around your house or if you don't, just buy a quarter yard. That'll be plenty. Perfect. Um, you'll need some heavy duty snaps from Dritz is what we used. And the Dritz snap pliers. Uh, pliers. Yeah, that's what they're called. Snap. Yeah. The snap putter so on our the thingy. The snap <laughs> contraption thing. That's yeah. right. <laughs> so you'll need those. But those are great because then you'll have them in your kit to use on all kinds of fun projects. Yeah. And once you add a snap, you'll, you're will you like, oh my goodness, this is so professional. And right, yeah. Amazing. Those things do really, they just up everything. It elevates yeah, it for it's sure. it's so fun. Yeah. So on the pattern, there are pattern pieces to cut out. And you I can do that. I actually really love it when people do that, by yeah. the way. Yeah, it's so easy and it's convenient. Like, instead of three pages, right. you have this, right. yeah. So there's like, there's several ways you could do this. You could photocopy it a few times and because you need three pocket patterns in one of these. So you could have, you know, several mm -hmm. different photocopy pages, or you could trace it. Even the um, regular printer paper is see-through enough to get a good tracing. Sure. Um, but if you want something a little more permanent, we have this heat resistant mylar, which is great. Because I've never used that. So I think it's really fun on, on it. It's yeah. really easy to cut through. And we went ahead and, and it did makes that. a little more of a permanent pattern. Yeah. If you so will. it's very, I mean, you can feel it's like really yeah. sturdy. Well, and then you can just store these with your pattern and they're yeah. ready to go you next to everything to go. together. Yeah. And it, it's great if you're making multiple right. versions of you this. You could make this a bazillion times. That's an or approximate like 12, number. For all your best <laughs> girlfriends. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So you want to cut out, the first thing you're going to want to do is cut out all your pattern pieces. Okay. So you'll need the main body and the three pockets. So that's what we've got here. Okay. We've got them all cut out using our mylar. And we have cut them out, but I do think it's interesting to note that yeah. on, on one of them, it's cut on the fold. Right. So and the, so for people who don't sew, it might be interesting to show that. Yeah. So the main body is just one piece of fabric. I'll just, I'm just going to do this one really quick okay. first. And then we'll, you can find a place and fold that up for me. And we'll do a, a little, oh. So I'm just going to put this down here. I'm going to line up the bottom so I have one less side to cut. And I'm just going to use my rotary cutter because it's And you, you do still have to be careful enough. because you can cut the mylar with the rotary cutter. It's not like a plastic template. Right. No, but, but it's it not like a flimsy like, paper oh, either. Yeah, it's it's pretty hard to cut through actually. I tried just then. And <laughs> it didn't really work. So I'm going to turn this around so it's easier to get the other side. And just go right along this edge right here. Perfect. Right, easy peasy. So that You're gonna is cut. the outside of the main body, and you'll need an inside in your accent piece as mm -hmm. well. I've already got one cut. And then also a piece of interf interfacing. Yes. Yeah. That is true. So, and you oh, it's could, here. You could layer those. I could have layered them and cut, cut, cut them all, all at the ones. same time. I have a piece of interfacing cut already, so I'm yeah. not going to... Not going to do that. All right, one. so then on the pockets, this is a pretty big piece, but um, if we fold it over mm -hmm. like this, actually, you just need you a little just need bitty a, fold. A, a little bit, just enough to get your, and I'm going to do it, I think, this way and line it up. So this top part and of the pocket would... on the pattern right here, it says where it says cut on fold. It means that's the fold. Yeah. Right. Along and so, that line. so we also traced our snap placement and then we labeled each of our pieces. So mm -hmm. even if you're cutting them out of regular paper, label them mm -hmm. because the pockets are different sizes and you want to make sure you have the fold side on the right edge. Yes. Otherwise absolutely. it'll be upside down and your fold will get sewn into your seam and you won't be able to put anything in your pocket. <laughs> You'll be frustrated. This could be a frustrating this could wallet, be but really it's not. Frustrating. But okay. all the pockets are cut on the fold, right? Yes. All the pockets are cut on the fold. Awesome. and make this nice finished edge on top. Perfect. So I'm just going to lay that down. And you can get it even even tighter if you want to be more... Um, Thrifty? Yes. And then just, oops, go along that edge and along this edge. And if you don't want to use your rotary cutter, feel free to trace and cut with scissors. Oops, I missed a little bit right there. So that's how your pocket will look. And if you open it up, you'll you'll see it has like a little divot. That's because of the shape. So just keep it folded and it's ready to go. It's ready to go. press it. I will yep, do which, that. I mean, it doesn't have to be pressed right now, but, but we can. I'm it's going great. to. It gives me it. a job. Yeah. Right? Okay. And I'm going to fold up this fabric. This is my job. It's Perfect. so cute. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Good Aren't job, we everyone? so helpful, Natalie? So helpful. <laughs> okay. So we've got all of these pieces cut out. These are our pockets. One, two, three. Small, medium, large. And we've got some, we've got a backing and an inside and some fusible stabilizer. The fusible stabilizer is uh, like a light to medium. It's basically the same thing I use for t-shirt quilts. Okay. So like um, 
a Pellon product yeah. or any any kind of t-shirt stabilizer will work if you have that. It's just a light to mid-weight mm -hmm. fusible, super easy. So what we're gonna do is press the fusible and you can tell after you've cut it out which side is the right side because one side will be really smooth and the other side just has like really light bumpy texture. That's the glue side, so that's the side that we're gonna to press towards the inside or wrong side of our fabric to stabilize the outside of the purse. Okay, okay. Wallet. <laughs> it's a lot of words, but it's When you it's see it easier. go together, you'll be like, Yeah, it's oh. easier than you think. So just go ahead and press that. And if you want to use um, a pressing cloth, because sometimes when you're using stabilizer, all the pieces are so light that the glue can kind of come through your iron. Mm. You can just use a piece of muslin or, um, or you can actually get pressing cloth if you sure. want to. It's just really light fabric that yeah. just creates a layer in between. To the, protect it so you don't get yeah, gunk on your Yeah, in between the iron. fusible and your iron. Okay. So that is ready. Okay, perfect. So now we're just going to layer all of these together. Do you want me to top stitch these? Oh, yes, I Could do. I? I think that would look really beautiful. Good I'd like idea. a job myself. And actually, you're right. That is the next step on the pattern. I almost skipped we it. We just get excited. I know. I was like, <laughs> let's put it together. It's going to be so exactly. cute. Exactly. I do that all the time. Yes. So top stitch each pocket because you want that done before you sew everything around the edge. And then this wallet comes together really quick. It's that easy. There's the back one. Excellent. So I'm going to line this up and we're going to start Here's with, Mr. Middle. Okay, so we're going to start with the, the lining. There we go. There and then go. we're going to layer our large to small, just like that, all lined up along the edge. Can you guys see that? And then we're going to place the, the outside of the pocket, right sides together. And what we're going to do is sew all the way did around. Did we mark for the snaps? We did not mark, okay, for, we snaps. mark for the snaps. You are correct. My goodness. <laughs> I'm just... No, it's all right. It's I'm all struggling right. today. Okay. So we're going to mark for snaps. We're going to mark on pocket one right here in the middle. And I think... Just, just a, a dot? Little, just a little dot will be good. A little dot will do ya. And I'll just uh, go about right there. That's pretty Perfect. good. Yeah. And then for this one, our snap goes on the... So I should mark on the inside, right? You think? Yes. Yeah. Inside or outside, either. Either I way, you mark them both. You're gonna cut a hole through it, so. Yeah. Either way, so it's we're gonna put that right in the center of that, of that flower. Right yeah. Right there. there Perfect. I'll do one on this side just in case we need it, because it's gonna get covered up anyways. Well, and I think so that's that why we're all right three there. here together, so we don't forget anything, right? So we can yes, remember. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. You guys are saving me today. Okay, snaps are marked. Now we're going to layer the whole thing. We're going to put this all right sides together and then stitch all the way around. You can use Want some clips. Yeah, a couple clips just to keep the pockets in place. There you go. You could pin if you want to. Either way is fine. We're going to catch all of this bottom part in the seam and leave a little opening in the sides. So Why don't you make a little mark it. right there so that I know? Okay, uh, that's a to good, stop and go. yeah, that's a good idea. Because so, I get, whoom, and I'm done, and I'm like, so like oh, I forgot to, to leave an opening. Here to here, maybe. Yeah, that looks perfect. Space. Yep. Okay, so we're sewing all the layers together. Does it say quarter inch seam? Do, what is the, what it is says, the, um, yeah, a quarter or just inch along seam. the edge. Using a quarter inch seam and back tacking at the start and finish from the indicated starting point. Oh, I think I need a to go little, down a little more. Yeah. Two more stitches and turn. <laughs> yep, and the idea here is just catching everything on that inside seam, so. Oh, I didn't mean to cut that. That's okay, you backstitched also, so it's I, fine. <laughs> I backstitched and cut, I did all the things right there. Yeah, you'll wanna kind of catch the thread. Oh, it did it all by itself, cool. Okay, let me make sure these are still together. Yep. Now I noticed that my um, my fabric has shifted a little bit. Well, I so think I just want to make sure that we got it. Okay, yeah. so what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to come over here, start from that side. Yeah. Okay. My bobbin thread and my top thread are the same, so it'll work either way. Yeah, it doesn't. It's on the inside at this point. There we go. 
And then do we come down mm -hmm. at all just I, a little bit? I would because I like my corners to be sharp. Really and I crisp. don't like to try, mm -hmm. uh, try and make a sharp corner when I'm top stitching that outside. Right. There's a crispy corner. Okay, so I would recommend you know what? Let me clipping. see this right here. This little this little poke out. Uh -huh. Though it's very shallow, it will show when you turn it. So let me just round that off a little bit with a stitch. Okay. Sounds great. And that way, because we want that, we want that um, edge nice and smooth. I know you people are so shocked that I'm sewing slowly, but that should work. Beautiful. Okay, awesome. so then you're gonna want to clip your corners mm -hmm. so you don't have as much bulk there. And if you have areas like um, up here where it got a little, you can trim it so it's closer and... and uh, less bulk. Less bulk, yeah. I feel like we're going to be making three of these with all these pieces I too. Know. We, we do gonna, have enough. We're going to have gonna, quite the get, assortment of wallets. Right. We, we, we are. are. <laughs> we're all going to have an assortment. Okay, so the whole thing gets flipped inside out through this itty bitty flipping space. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, we flipped one here earlier. Right this here. one right here, we do yeah. Have, this one is also top We've already stitched. top stitched it. So, so just fiddle with this for I'll a flip minute. that. And why don't you why don't you work on the, the, snap. the snap? This is marked for the snap. And then I will just fiddle with this for a minute. Okay. Because you know it we just we all a want few minutes and some patience to get this flipped all the way around. I have so much patience. But you guys you guys have flipped things right side out before. You know how so it that's goes. that's how it goes. Okay. And then so you... we are gonna explain the snaps because using this new um, tool yes. with, well new to us Putting on snaps, it was a little bit tricky at first. We don't, I don't generally put snaps on my quilt. I had it so, so organized. It was a you know what? It might be a good idea. You could you could mount some snaps on your wall and then just snap then a just new quilt to it every time. <laughs> Interesting. As long as the quilt was always the same size. Exactly, and the you'd snaps be, were in the same place. Right? You'd be good to go. Wow, you've almost got that flipped already. I was taking forever. Okay, I'm a faster. And so then over. once you flip it, you just press it and top stitch, right? Yep. You flip it right side out. You press it and top stitch it. And in you can whip stitch this opening closed if you're worried about um, that. I wouldn't. But I would we just, just top. Stitch we just it. ran the top stitch right over it, and it is super secure, so not a big deal to us at all. Perfect. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do after you've opened and read the instructions and figured out all your snap information is cut like a this. hole where we marked for snaps. So, yep. So we'll do that with the the seam ripper is pretty easy. It'll go right through the fabric, and you kind of just make like a little tiny X. Yep. Um, I'm going, just gonna come going over kind here. of in both oh. directions. So I'm gonna to come press. over here and iron my wallet. Okay. I mean the wallet. It just needs to be big <laughs> enough for the post. She's claiming it. Nice. It's fun to it's fun to do something different. It's adorable. Isn't it? it really is. Yeah. All right, it I'm really just is. gonna fold these down so that when I top stitch, we will catch, catch them. Catch all of it. Okay. I'm gonna do. I the would have pressed for you. Oh, I know. Well. <laughs> I'm feeling very excited about this. That's awesome. This is so cute. So you cut you cut holes on both both the top and bottom of the snap either, both ways. So the purple is for the base, the black is for the top, and then the the cone shaped piece is the also for one. the base. These are this smooth. Yeah, and the and this one's one kind has, of yeah. It's like an octagon, like right. a diamond tip. Okay, so then you have the the base parts of your snap, which is this flat piece with the post, and then this is the. Uh, the Oops. outer piece. The outer piece that the top snap snaps onto. It's kind of snappy. So snappy. You'll see. It's going to oh, be great. Oh, snap. All right. So we're going to put that in there. And this piece, you can't see it as well, but it fits right on there. There's actually even a little post in the middle of the purple. Do you want to leave it on there and see if you can just We can work try it that. Through? I think it it's a little fidgety. So, okay, oh, good. There we that go. worked. And then this piece goes on top. And you just nope. Nope. line it nope. up. Nope. Nope. Flip that over. No. Yep. You're right. <laughs> okay. So flip that over and then we're going to press it together. There we go. And you're in place. Press it again. It's really hard. There, there it go. is. You just got a little perfect. It's right. perfect. It's okay. perfect. So now the top. So we're going to take this off. We're going to... Do we need a hole in the top? Pull this out. I have put a hole in already. Oh, okay. So now I'm going to put the black base and the right there and the, the other the different top. pointy one the faceted top the different one and you can just kind of pop those together with you know squeezing them mm -hmm. together 
And there is a tool. This tool is great for, for popping these out. If they don't come out on their own, you just kind of hook it on there and press through and it'll, it'll pop that out. So that is what the little gray tool is for, just so you know. Okay, so we are going to put this through the front because we want the pretty side on the outside. And then this piece goes like that. And I'm gonna lay that in there. Punch that through. After everything is all lined up, just double check and then give that a squeeze. Perfect. And your snap is attached. Awesome. So cute. All done. That is I awesome. I love it. So we have. And it's functional. There we go. Look at that little wallet. We have one, two. We'll do this snap. One, two, and, and, three. and we'll all have one. We'll all have one. <laughs> Twinning. Awesome. Perfect. That was cool. I like it. And again, all right. This is so, what... again, yeah, it's Little Wallet by Valerie Wells. It's super cute and easy. And it's just a stitch and flip and top stitch and then add yeah. a snap. Very cool. And awesome. you're good to go. And don't you love all these pockets, too? Yes. Cute. And I the know. coordinating fabric is so cute. It, it really is. is. Okie doke. All right. Misty, I think you're Sounds up. good. Let's do it. So I actually taught the kit of this wallet on At Home with Misty. And so um, you can see those here and they actually come with hardware, but I wanted to teach you the original pattern version that just has this flap. Because you can just buy the pattern, right? Exactly. Okay, you great. can just get the pattern. So I'm gonna walk you through this, just like um, all of the other uh, wallets we've made, you cut out your pattern pieces and these ones, if you just print them out of the pattern, it says exactly how many of each one to oh, cut. Okay. okay. And so I've gone ahead and just to save time, I have cut all my pieces out and I've also done the top stitching. So I just want to point out those details really quick. So you can see along the top edge of each of these, I did the top stitching. That looks so professional. It, it's pretty amazing it when it comes together. Amazing. This mm -hmm. is that faux leather that I'm using and I feel like it sews really similar to the cork. Yeah, yeah. it has, it's, it's it has really that light back light on it. That, yeah. yeah, it works great. And so then you're, you've just done all this top stitching just to give it that nice finished edge. And then you'll notice on your pattern piece, it tells you where to put your ID pocket, which is this little piece here. And so we're gonna go ahead and um, line, uh, align this on here. That's our first step. And it's really just about, a, I don't know, a quarter inch up there and centered. I just eyeball because that's okay. what I do. And then we'll go down the two sides. I forgot I went ahead and tacked these on as well, but let's go ahead and do this. And I just sew on the sides and the bottom. Yep. So you'll back stitch at the top and then go down and all the now way my around. My thread color is a little different. That's so. okay. It's, it's Oops. close enough. I, I, uh, I, I scooted it. Let me That's see. okay. Right. Does it look centered to you? I hope so. I think it, you know, it's inside the wallet, so I don't think we're really worried about it too much. And so we come in down the side. Yep, and I just kept my needle down and turned. There you go. Perfect. That looks great. <laughs> It really looks awesome. I think I like your thread color better. Okay, I finished this pocket. What do you think? Oh, it looks awesome. That does look good. All right, so then next we're going to go ahead and lay our our bottom one. Remember, we went ahead and tacked these down already. I did that earlier because okay. we top stitched and tacked each of and these. And I appreciate that. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to make it easier. And so those two are exactly the same pattern piece that we cut out. And then we're going to put this last one down. Okay. And I'm going to put a couple clips on here just to make sure this stays nice and lined up along the bottom and along the edge. And honestly, if this were to slide when you were sewing it, you could trim it off. You totally could. It's very, it's really very forgiving. easy to cut. Yeah. And yeah. so then we're gonna do a couple of things. We're gonna sew right down this middle, mm -hmm. so just where those peaks are, okay. a straight line so that we have separation between those to create six pockets. Okay. And then cool. let's go ahead and sew right along this bottom edge okay. as well. All right. I'd probably do the middle just to kind of tack it in place. And we just start up here at the top. I usually... Um, or we start at the pocket. Um, I started right okay, where the, sti the, the stitch line. line. Okay. Yep, and then went from the stitch line down. All 
All right, so now I've sewn this top part and this perfect uh, bottom piece. Okay, and so now we're gonna prep the back side of the wallet. This will actually be the outside piece. And so we're gonna measure up for our strap placement. And you need to measure up about an inch and a quarter from the bottom and just line that up there. And so we can put a, a little clip there to hold it in place and make sure we're right over here. And we're gonna do the same thing and just do that little top stitch edge. Okay, let me try this. And then we'll come over here. Perfect. Oh, 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 a little slidey. <laughs> it lined up. I'm 70% sure it's still You know up. what? It looks great. <laughs> great. There we go. And so now that we have those two halves ready, we're going to flip this over and we can just sandwich it together. And we can put a few clips in there again to make sure it Here, stays lined one. up. And yeah. A few more. Absolutely. We'll just put a few because However it, many you need, it can fine. shift on you. And so you do just want to take your time. And like Jenny mentioned earlier, you could always trim it if you need to. Um, so that the, the edges look really nice, but we might as well start with it as close as possible. So okay. I would probably, since this is one of the bulkiest sections that okay. you're working with, I would just start there and just follow on that same line of stitching. Exactly the same line. As close as you can. <laughs> yep. Keep on going. Do you know, actually I was thinking this would be a fun uh, where some of those decorative stitches. Oh, that's true. Because they would hide a lot. That's you true. Know. Interesting. Make sure. There we go. We'll come around. Zoom around here. And Not when you get to these really little side. edges where the pockets are there, you could do a little back stitch to give it some extra strength. Okay. Probably smart because you're yeah. pulling cards in and out. Exactly. And fiddling with it. Now, did you um, use a heavy duty needle? Yeah, so if you have like a sharps needle or a denim or leather needle, that, that's all obviously going to help. This okay. isn't as heavy as like real leather. Right. It's really I just, not. I, I was think just it's curious, like with all the yeah. layers, if you needed a different, yeah, like maybe a different thread weight, something. It it says you can use regular okay. on there, but I think well, it looks great. It I does. Trust you. Yeah. <laughs> but I think you could play with it. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm over here concentrating. You're doing oh. so good. Oh. Breathing great. deeply. Looking so great. I don't know why this is so nerve-wracking to me. <laughs> I sew a lot of things, but I guess it's just because it's the leather just and a it little shows, different. you know. Yeah. It's looking great. So good. All right, we're holding our breath we're now. We're, back we're back almost stitches. down to the very end. I'm going to round that corner. Okay, I felt this catch on my foot. So we're just going to come around this corner. <laughs> One more. There we go. A couple more. Stitch. Look at that! Yay! Ta da! That's it. And then you can see oh, it just it? folds up it and you tuck under. that in. That is oh, it. That's so oh, that great. is great. I love it. Isn't that so great? So, that is if you buy just the pattern and use, you could even, you know, use interfacing like Natalie oh, yeah. did and do the exact same sure. idea. Yeah. Um, but I do want to point out again, you can get these adorable hardware yeah, to finish it off. It just, I do love this. It hardware. makes it look just a little more elevated. Cool. Yeah, exactly. So this is the navy faux leather and some cork. Just wanted to show you the different ways. And if you want to learn how to put the hardware in, you can watch the video on At Home with Misty. There we go. Awesome. So there All we right. go. So today we learned how to make the Corky Wallet by Sassafras Lane, the Lucky Penny Wallet by Sally Tomato, and the Little Wallets by Valerie Wells. So we hope you enjoyed this bonus triple play tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I am here with Natalie and with Misty and we hope you enjoyed watching our latest triple play. You can find us together on the third Friday of each month as we hit another tutorial out of the park. If you aren't already part of the Missouri Star Quilt Company family, be sure to subscribe and click that bell to be notified each time we release a new video. See you next time.